So in this tutorial we're going to cover different ways of creating inputs within Grasshopper. So if you go to your params uh, tab and then over here to input, these are all the different ways that you can input information into Grasshopper to use to control your geometry. So the basic one is the number slider which we've already looked at and so if you just click the number slider you can double click that and change different values and different slider type. Um, types. Uh, you can also under input go to panel and we've looked at that a little bit so you can input uh, both text or numerical data into a panel. Um, one thing I'll point out is you can input multiple lines of, of data. So for example if I type in 5 enter 7.25 enter negative 4.5 enter then 6. Um, I can then right click turn that to multi-line data and now each of these numbers will output from this panel. So for example, earlier we contained three points into a component. This is basically the same as containing four numbers in a panel or a component. So if I use that for creating a point I would it, and, and put it into, into the X input, all four of these numbers would count toward the X, so it would produce four points with different X inputs. So panel can be really useful for multiple numbers or just a single number. Um, if we go down here, we also have a Boolean toggle. So there's um, in Rhino, of course, we've made Booleans with circles and spheres and um, cubes. And that uh, refers to the geometric operation of a Boolean where one cuts or joins another. In um, computer programming language, Boolean refers to true or false. So if something is true, um, it might execute a command. If it's false, it might stop a command. Um, but Boolean toggle is really useful for using a true or false Boolean statement. So when you use a Boolean toggle, all you have to do is double click to change it from true to false. And um, it's really useful for some other third party plugins like uh, Firefly, where you might turn or turn off, turn on or turn off. Uh, some uh, set of components or or kangaroo which is dealing with real-time physics it might turn or turn off that um, simulation so boolean toggle is really useful uh, if I go to input there's also uh, buttons which kind of act as on and off you can do control knobs so this is like a slider it's just uh, the format is this kind of circular knob um, you can also do a value list uh, so this is really great if you know you only need four values and you want to be able to toggle between those four values. Um, I've used this for creating like a perforation pattern where one cell I might have as a lower perforation and a f another cell as a higher perforation. To change these values you just right click on the component, hit edit, and then you can change what those values are. So I could say for the one value I want it to be four, for two I want it to be eight, etc. You can also change these values. So I could say like low perforation for example. And then if I hit OK you can see that that is now one of my different values. So you can increase as many values as you want in this list and assign as many values to these different um, um, categories as you want in that list. So under input there's also an uh, MD slider which we'll talk about later. Um, digital scroller just again different ways of producing these numerical sliders and it's really just up to you often uh, what you prefer visually. Um, there are also different ways of introducing color um, and so we'll talk a little bit about that later but you can sample an image for example um, and extract data from the image. You can also use a graph so uh, a graph is basically produces an uh, if you right click on it you can actually change so that's the graph component. If I right click on it I can change it to a different graph type and so that's just uh, ex uh, outputting values based on this graph so it's really good for creating gradients and things like that and we'll get into that a little bit later as well. Um, you can also import stuff from outside of Grasshopper and outside of Rhino like import images or read files so if you have an Excel file for example you can read data that's outside of the program and use that data to control different um, definitions within Grasshopper. And so a definition, by the way, is just a series of components strung together. So if I have uh, five components connected to each other to produce something, that would be a definition. 